the X-Men are coming, baby. And I mean, that's pretty obvious. We, we, we knew that was coming. I mean, back in 2019, when Disney bought Fox, that was like one of the most obvious things. I was like, oh yeah, they're going to make an X-Men movie. But, you know, as the years have gone on, we kind of learned to accept the fact that it wasn't happening anytime soon. I mean, we just got Dark Phoenix in 2019. And so we want to take a little bit of a break. We want to uh, let that version of these characters kind of fizzle out of people's minds and then we'll come in with a fresh new batch of x-men under the marvel studios banner and uh so that's been you know that's been what we're we've been going with so far you know they're doing fantastic four first fantastic four is more of a priority between the two fox franchises um you know it's been longer since the last fantastic four film um but you know we've still been and we will still be getting X-Men content in the coming years, just not fully fledged MCU X-Men like some may have wanted. But, you know, we are getting the Marvel Studios X-Men 97. That is supposed to come out this year, but is coming out sometime next year. Um, so that's really exciting because that's a continuation of the 90s X-Men, the animated series. So that's awesome. And also next year, next year is going to be a big year for X-Men. We're not only getting that, but also Deadpool 3, which is basically an X-Men movie because it is a celebration of the Fox universe, bringing back Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, as well as so many other actors and actresses from those Fox X-Men movies and Fantastic Four movies and Daredevil movies, everything. Fox, this is what this movie is about, and that's really, really cool. But again, we didn't think we would be getting an actual X-Men movie for a long time, but now it looks like an actual uh, X-Men movie is in development in the early stages of development over at Marvel Studios as is now being reported by the trades that Marvel Studios is set to have some meetings this fall to uh, find a writer for their X-Men film. So by early 2024, we will have a writer for an MCU X-Men movie. They're going to start having meetings this fall. And this is awesome. This is really exciting because again, this is something we thought was far away. And I mean, you know, they're just, it's still an early stage of development. So it is like the movie itself is years away, but this does mean we're going to start hearing more about it. I mean, man, if you thought the Fantastic Four casting rumors were crazy, this, this could get just as insane and just as wild. And, and there's even more characters to cast here. So who knows how long this could go on. Um, but it does get me excited that we're going to start getting uh, casting news and um, probably director at some point as well. I mean, obviously the writer is the priority right now. I mean, that's the obvious thing that the writer strike just ended. So, you know, that's obviously the direction they're going to start with. Hopefully the actor strike will be over soon as well. Um, so that, that is honestly awesome. I think this is really exciting. Again, we're, uh, we're going down a good path here. This, this X-Men movie won't come out until after Secret Wars. Um, so this would be like a phase seven movie, I believe. Um, but, uh, yeah, again, like I just, because I felt like it's so far away, I feel like I haven't really thought about this being an actual thing or like how close it is or how real it is. Um, but it's interesting that we're just going to go straight into a straight up X-Men movie. I think, um, you know, a lot of us were thinking that maybe they might do a little bit to set it up, like give us a Wolverine movie first or like, you know, do some other like spinoffs and like actual solo projects for these X-Men members. And they might do that after this X-Men movie or even before. We just don't know about them yet. Uh, but I do think that's one of the strengths of the MCU is that kind of this is what fox kind of wanted to do you know as towards the end of their universe they started to branch out and they're like oh we're gonna make a gambit solo movie and they could do something like that here give us a gambit solo movie give us a cyclops disney plus series or a beast solo disney plus series or a storm movie or you know they can give us these different projects and still have them all be a part of the mcu i think that's really cool um because you know the mcu they crank out a lot of projects especially if there's going to be like you know a lot of us have theorized that after the multiverse saga ends with secret wars that this next saga will be the mutant saga you know so if the whole saga is centered around mutants and x-men it makes sense that the majority of these projects would be focused on those characters and i think that's really cool um you know they can get their whole own little corner of the universe i, I, I love 
I love when, you know, you can have a cinematic universe, but if you have like different corners to it, you know, like in the MCU, there's like the street level heroes, there's the cosmic side of things, there's going to be the the supernatural kind of Midnight Suns type stuff going on, there's the magic stuff with Scarlet Witch and Agatha and Doctor Strange and all that, and now we can have the mutant corner of the MCU, so that's definitely really, really exciting. So guys, it's happening, the X-Men are coming, Marvel Studios is officially developing an X-Men film for the MCU. And they're looking at meeting with some writers this fall, and we will have a writer by early 2024. This thing's happening, people, um, and it's crazy, but crazy awesome. So anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about this news? Is this coming up quicker than you expected as well? Uh, are you excited for this? Do you have any writers in mind, any directors, any castings? Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. But for now, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please drop a like if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button so I can keep it to date on everything goes on in the Marvel life.